What is up everybody, this is the Mapped Out Gamer here, and I'm continuing my review and commentary on the single player missions of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Next up we have the mission Crash. Let's get started. Okay, so playing off of the last mission, we had Sentinel, uh, Cormac, and Mitchell plant their tracking devices on this big plane that holds uh, the Manticore weapon. Now, they don't want to destroy the plane, so they kind of come up with this really cool way of taking out the wings and then kind of using another ship to kind of guide it as it landed, or kind of crash landed. I thought it was a pretty neat way of commandeering this airplane. Of course, the very punctual Atlas team is there to greet you once they discover that their airplane has been taken over. There is a lot going on in this level once you start, you know, engaging the enemy. You do get a sense of trench warfare as the enemy line kind of sets up their end and then you have yours as you push towards the objective through the enemy line. Kind of playing an homage, you know, to the older Call of Duties where you're fighting in the trenches, you know, you got the enemy line you got to cross to get the objective, and it brings back some great memories. Be careful because the enemy does launch some excess one Goliaths. These big machine guys, just hit them with the MP grenades and then take them out pretty easily. I did find a smart grenade launcher and this greatly helped out with uh, dispatching enemies quickly. Now we do see a little bit of a curveball thrown at the player at this point in the game. Uh, the characters actually fall through the ice, and now you're wondering, well, what the hell do I do now? This little event trigger was a great way to mix up the gameplay, and kind of put an emphasis more on the environment that the uh, player is actually in. There's a lot of ice around, we discover this underground cave type of system. It really shines a light on the environment. After you dispatch a patrol of enemies that was looking for you, um, you go head to head with the Goliath, and the Sentinel team quickly find out how brittle and delicate the environment around them actually is. They end up falling through the ice once more. This is one of my favorite missions of the entire campaign. It mainly had to do with the environment that it was in, the setting. Being in Antarctica showed the organics of the ice and it really gave a good contrast to the futuristic world you were used to seeing prior to this. I got the sense that the player wasn't only trying to survive the enemies of Atlas at this point, but they were also trying to survive the environment that was around them. Whether it was falling through the ice once more, or navigating these tight, kind of claustrophobic areas, your survival instincts are forced to kind of kick it into a higher gear. Take a look at this example when the team is finally out of this underground ice cavern. They have to navigate the side of a mountain and even at this point, uh, you know, you still kind of feel that, you know, you're at the mercy of mother nature. It's a great way to connect the player with the environment. Loved it. Now you finally reach the cargo that you're trying to locate. Unfortunately, an Atlas dropship takes it away. This is where Gideon enters the picture once again. We see him kind of give that wink wink nudge nudge type of hint to Mitchell and of course now he's this kind of double agent. Now with Gideon on board you're able to take down the dropship that had the cargo. Once you retrieve the cargo and jump onto the helicopter the mission is completed. Like I said before this mission was extremely fun. I had a great time playing it. It was one of my favorite ones out of the entire campaign. Reason being it was the environment adding that extra little bit of challenge to the player. So not only were you trying to survive the fire fights from the enemy, but you were also trying to figure out how to escape the environment that you were in. This level does well to balance environment interaction as well as gameplay mechanics. This is the type of stuff I really wanted to see out of the campaign. Thank you so much for watching my video guys. Uh, feel free to like, favorite, or subscribe. Thank you so much and have a good one.